So, and the given now pull of it in well, this is not an end. We're going to see one important question from now. We're going to take mark one, do watch out and do listen to it before we get going. I want to share one more thing. Question 3B from this mark that is in case 37 question, excellent question. I shared a video of the same yesterday as well. In case if you haven't watched, do check it out. So let's get going with this question. On 1st time 2021, Johansson Limited acquired a new subsidiary Bosman purchasing all 150 million shares of Bosman Limited. The terms of sale included exchange of four shares, four shares for every three shares acquiring Bosman Limited. So that will be so where is the so the terms of the share purchase include issue of one additional share in Johnson Limited for every five share. So these are the purchase considerations that you should keep in mind very careful. If the profits of Bossman Limited for two years ending exceeded a target figure. So is what's the requirement? Since some questions like business combination and all those things. It's better if you start with the requirement and then you read the problem so that you understand what exactly is expected from you. So, purchasing all 150 million shares. So, legal and professional fees associated with acquisition shares were 4 lakhs, including 2 lakhs relating to cost of issuing shares. Senior management estimated cost of the time can be fairly allocated to the acquisition figure is 2 lakhs is not included in the legal and professional fees of 12 lakhs. The individual balance sheet of Bossman comprises net assets that had a fair value at the rate of 1200 million. Additionally, Johansson Limited considered Bossman Limited possessed certain intangible assets that were not recognized in its individual balance sheet. So, what are those data? Customer relationships, reliable estimate of value of 100 million, and in process research and development project not being recognized. However, the fair value of the whole project is estimated at 50 million. Employee expertise is 80 million. Market value of share of Johnson is 31st March 2022 was rupees 11. Nice question. So let's quickly get going. Before we start with the solution, first you should brief about what is meant by acquisition cost. Then what is what is the requirement to be categorized or recognized as an intangible asset. So an intangible asset can be separately recognized as from a goodwill provided the three conditions are satisfied that is it should be identifiable and it should be control of acquiring entity and this fair value can be measured reliably for example in this case customer relationships the value is not given then no, there is no point in categorizing an intangible asset because value cannot be estimated reliably and acquisition cost it comprises of various costs like cost of registration and all those aspects so over there is one specific exemption or uh, I, I want an exemption a specific point has been given where any any cost relating to issue of debt and equity to be specifically recognized as per India's 109 and uh, not as per India's 103 so let's quickly see the solution so in this case, what we need to do is purchase all 150 million shares. So that will be 150 into 150 into 4 by 3 into rupees 10. So that will give you 2000. So you should ensure rupees in million. That is very careful. Be careful with these things because if you don't put rupees in crores or rupees in million, you might lose precious marks. Then moving on to the next one. Term include one additional share for every five share of Bossman. So 150 million into 1 by 5 into 10 so 2300 that is 2300 that is the total consideration then moving on to the second part individual balance sheet fair value net assets 1200 custom relationship 100 and in process r and d 50 so in this case as per the index this one specifically that is employee expertise this fails the control test so this cost should not be included so ideally it will be 2300 minus 1200 minus uh, plus 100 plus 50 so that will come to 2300 minus 1350 so your net goodwill will be rupees 950 million excellent question if you if you just seen it two to three minutes and or if you listen to the video it has full marks and as i told you i'll show you the question also 
this question is very often along with detailed explanation has been shared so do watch that as well best wishes have a fantastic time stay focused and stay cool you're gonna rock it